the four different kinds of tricks you were trying to do. Can you tell me a little bit about those? 540s, yeah. all four 540s, like my front side, my back side, my switch things, cap, and then switch back. Are those hard tricks to do? For me, it's so easy. She's one of the most fundamentally sound snowboarders I've ever seen in my life. She's going to be successful on the global scale. It is not typical for athletes that are eight years old to be at Patty's skill level. Without a doubt, see her competing in the Olympics. As soon as she's of age, she's going to be right there with them. A great stance. She's got great timing. Everything about her snowboarding has been built so well from the ground up that there's nothing she can't do. I'm Patty, and I'm a snowboarder. snowboarding because it's so much fun. The first time I tried snowboarding, it was when I was two, and I really started snowboarding when I was five. I do two kinds of snowboarding, slope style and pipe. Slope style, it's really easy. There are a few things that really make Patty a special young athlete. I met Patty in China. I was over there training up some instructors for the resorts there, and my translator actually knew their family, and they knew that they wanted someone to look after her and to, to come up with a bit of a plan. And then, yeah, the relationship took off from there. Pancake down. I went with Ollie when I just started snowboarding. He always pushed me, he always helps me. I like how he always have some jokes to tell me, to make me happy, and I really like Ollie. Pop, suck our legs up, then land on the toe edge. Okay. I like going to the pipe because it's so huge. It is really fun because it has two walls and it's all really smooth. I think first and foremost, you know, and you probably hear this in a lot of sports, but you need to have passion for it. You need to love it, you need to want to get out there and ride as, as hard as you can, as much as you can. Yeah. Oh yeah, now we're talking. I think one of the main things that separates her from other boarders her age is her ability to really focus from an outside perspective. She's a great listener. She's able to process a lot in her head. And when you say something and help her work through a new skill or a bigger jump, whatever it is, she is so good at being able to take that and implement it, which is really rare for an eight-year-old. Coach Ronnie is my camp coach, and he pushed a lot of kids to help them get better. So our team is Ski and Snowboard Club Vail. We're based out of Vail, Colorado, but we're a traveling team. So we go all over the state and all over the country, all over the world even. So I'm going to side slip the landings for you so we can get a little more speed. Yeah, okay. Sound good? Yeah. Clean landings, lots of speed, go get it. You guys ready? Yeah. I think it's really important for someone like Patty to be around her peers as well as get a lot of one-on-one -on -one time because it really connects her with the love that she has for snowboarding and being around her friends and it's just a really different experience what she gets out of the team environment. The reason that it's so important for Patty to be around her peers while she snowboards is because it pushes her and motivates her in different ways than when she's just snowboarding by herself. It really pushes her to try new things and to go a little bit bigger, and that's a really great aspect of being around her peers. We have her ride with boys and girls with our team because it really gives her a lot of different support. When she rides with girls, you know, she gets a lot of that kind of female camaraderie. She really enjoys it. And when she rides with boys, she really gets pushed to try new things and really push herself out of her comfort zone. I think Woodward's a perfect place to train for bigger jumps and bigger features because they're so progressive with everything that they do at Woodward Copper. They have every size jump you could ever think of, every size rail you could ever think of, and it just makes progression so safe and easy. It's very ideal for Patty to be riding at Woodward Copper because it gives her the opportunity for every day to be a little bit different and to work on all of her different things. These are all of my family snowboard and each one is a little bit different. 
These ones were the ones I ride last year, and this one is my new board. It's custom. Its shape is like Red Gerard's board. My little sister is two year old, and this is her snowboard. This is my mom's snowboard. It is still too big for me. That's big. This is my dad's snowboard, and it's from Burton too. This board is too big for me right now, but one day I'll ride it. This is my skateboard. I choose this board because it has a P, and my name starts with a P. I've been skateboarding for three years. Skateboarding is really fun. It has a lot of transitions, a lot of things to do. I like skateboarding because it also helps my snowboarding. In skateboarding, it's, you're not strapped to it. So you have to really make sure your timing and your power is spot on. And you can see that when we're out carving and out shredding, her balance and her coordination are really special. Without a doubt, the skating is cross training and it's something that we try and get all our snowboard athletes to do just because it enables them to keep working on snowboarding subtly and it builds those skills up. Usually I don't get frustrated when I fall down. Falling is a part of snowboarding and when you fall, you learn. Hi, Matt. <laughs> Who's there? Banana. Banana who? Knock, knock. Who's there? Banana. Banana who? Knock, knock. Who's there? Orange. Orange who? Orange you glad I didn't say banana. Patty loves telling jokes. And she's great at it too. She's definitely got some staples that I've heard a few times. <laughs> knock, knock. Oh, Teresa. Teresa, fly on my suit. Knock, knock. Who's there? Allie. Allie who? Alligator. I love working with Patty because she just brightens up my day every day. There's no day with Patty that's a bad day. She's always so happy no matter what we're working on or what the weather's like or the conditions are. She's just always stoked. Remember that one day at Vail when you were riding snow like all the way up to your chest? Yeah. When I grow up, I want to be a professional snowboarder and skateboarder. Working with Patty has been the dream. Working with such an amazing family who support and encourage her and trust and support me with her training is literally all you want as a coach, you know? And, and thinking long term and planning long term has been the most enjoyable part of my life. Yeah. She's so talented. I could see Patty going wherever she wants. Wherever her passion is, she follows her heart, she's gonna go there. I'm never gonna stop snowboarding.